A legendary MC and hip hop royalty. You're watching Encore, and that's what's coming up on this week's music show. Contributions clear. You add water to bone and get the Jurassic vibe on the microphone. Now, if you like the tone, Charlie Tuna is a founding member of the pioneering alternative hip hop group Jurassic Five, emerging from the rap underground of the late 90s with a positive message and old school stylings evoking the golden age of hip hop. The MC, with a distinctive baritone voice, has teamed up once again with UK breakbeat DJ and producer Crafty Cuts for some good time, party ready tunes. The duo currently on the road and gearing up to drop a joint album. Charlie Tuna, thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. I it's a pleasure. It. <laughs> You've kicked off another joint tour with Crafty Cuts. It's called Adventures of a Reluctant Superhero. Yeah. If you were a superhero, what uh, superpower would you have? Uh, there is a character in the Marvel Universe that uh, I always looked at um, as somebody who I would try to emulate because of my voice, and his name is Black Bolt. He's a, uh, an inhuman, and he doesn't talk, but when he does, things get destroyed. So ah, I thought that that would yeah, be cool. There's yeah, there's definitely uh, <laughs> something going on there. Yeah. Uh, you guys have toured together previously. Uh, last year, embarking on the Hands High Tour. What's different this time around? Um, I think... The Hands Hot Tour uh, was based on the fact that me and Crafty just stumbled in the studio one day and was like, let's just play around in that song Hands Hot was made, like in the, the span of about 20 minutes. Um, this, wow. tu this tour is an extension of that time that we had. And we were like, yo, if, if we can make music that fast, then let's continue and make a whole album. And it, it turned out with this superhero theme and here we are today. So the new tour was just to display more, um, more of the songs that we've created for the album, so yeah. And you come from two pretty different musical worlds. Uh, what have you learned from Crafty Cuts and what <laughs> do you think you've been able to teach him? Uh, well, I, what I've learned from Crafty is uh, a really extensive inside view of the DJ world, you know what I'm saying? Like I, I'm from Jurassic Five, it's two of the most amazing DJs I've been around, uh, Cut Chemist and, and DJ Newmark, but to be able to travel with Crafty and meet all of these DJs who they work in and out of this world that 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 most of us don't get a chance to see, you know. So I, I got a chance to really like infiltrate that world, hanging out with Crafty Cuts. Um, okay. I think I, I I think what I taught Crafty was patience, because I got a lot of it. <laughs> so, yeah. Good to hear. Well, let's take a listen uh, to your song uh, with Crafty Cuts and Dynamite MC. It's called "It Ain't My Fault." Yeah. With the world's most dangerous MC Training to free heat Burning like I was blaming the trees We came to the breeze Spreading like a contagious disease Same as receiving nameless degrees My aim is to please Specifically you got to be cats And possibly drive While my collection is It's like a colostomy bag Me at the bottom of the barrel Means a lot to these crabs Cooking the product animosity mad But see, it ain't my fault That you got a vertical view From the ground floor I'm rivers of terror Small shoes at the clown store Flow down floor In a profound core I'm a beast If you're looking for peace You found me well, Charlie, that was a cut from the uh, upcoming album. I love that song. Um, I know you've got Sky Edwards from Morchiba on there, and you've also got the British soul singer Omar, who's yes, amazing as well. What else can you reveal about this uh, about this album? Uh, we have uh, lyrics born and gift of gab from the Quantum uh, San Francisco Bay Area. Uh, it, you know, they're, they're on here. Uh, MC Supernatural, the Freestyle King, is on here. Um, I'm just happy to be able to return back to a real live hip hop setting. You know, I've been able to, to, to experiment with all of these different sounds and now we've returned back with a purpose, so to speak. I mean, this superhero thing is, is, is bigger than just us. So it's cool to be able to just fall in line with that and, and to, you know, regurgitate the music through it. So it's cool, yeah. Well, I'm looking forward to, to hearing the, the full length uh, album. Now we have to, of course, mention your work uh, with the legendary hip hop group, Jurassic Five. Um, I'm a huge fan, as I told you <laughs> off air. It. It's been uh, 20 or so years since your self, sorry to <laughs> bring that up. Okay. I don't want to make it's you, okay. but since your self-titled uh, debut uh, album came out, how do you look back at that time uh, in music? And how do you, what, what is what is some of your favorite memories from that time starting out with Jurassic 5? Wow, I think first and foremost, I date myself 
uh, through my career, through my son's life. My son is 27 now. And so it's like he was two or three when we started. And it's cool to be able to watch him grow and to be able to attach all of the things that we've done through the time uh, periods of his life, you know, which is really cool. But I think some of the craziest things we've done is just to be able to meet people that you would consider, you know, to, I, I consider myself fans of, like extreme fans of, and I still get geeked when I meet people. I'm like, oh my God, that's whatever, but you know. Some of those music For instance, I met, not even musical, I met oh. Tom Tom Hanks one day and oh, I wow. really lost oh. my board. I was gone. I was like <laughs> standing next to him and his wife and I was like, I can't believe I'm standing next to Tom Hanks. But you know, I mean, from people like I worked with uh, with uh, a lot of the Marley, uh, Marley sons, mm -hmm. uh, I've worked with like Beanie Man, I've worked with like, I mean, so many people out there that I could name, I could, we could sit here forever and do that, to tell you the truth. But yeah, I'm just running into all of these stars is one of the biggest things for me. Yeah. Well, it's fantastic. Well, for those of you who are nostalgic, like me, uh, let's soak up the sounds of J5. Uh, this is What's Golden from the album Power in Numbers. <laughs> Well, it's the verbal Herman monster, the word enhancer, syncophony mobsters, controlling the dance floor. I'm in them dark places, catch you when you stark naked. Your heart races as we poke you for your chart spaces. The taunt faces be bringing these hot styles through. Some of you bum a few cheers from shock value. You word power can plow through acres of cornfields. Paragraphs cut like warm steel, perform ill. We're not falling, we take it back to the days of yes, yawning. We're holding on to what's golden. Such a classic tune. I love that one as well. Uh, Charlie, you're also a keen street artist. You've travelled all over the world uh, to paint. What do you love about exploring this uh, uh, this other creative outlet? You know what's crazy? It's like I always say that I'm a painter who can rap and not vice versa because ah, I started painting. And, uh, interesting. I think that gave me the... Uh, the, 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 the attention to detail and the patience to do all of the stuff that we're doing right now. So I, I love painting. I mean, like even more than music, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, it's uh, Some of my fans might not like me saying that, but it's the truth. <laughs> You know, so it got me started. I'm sure me? they won't mind. Right, well, it's time now for a quick spin through the week's music news. She's gone from grinding coffee beans at Starbucks just a couple of years ago to being hailed as the next big thing on the UK's burgeoning new soul and R&B scene. Singer-songwriter Georgia Smith is only 20 years old, but she's already made music with Drake, appeared on the Kendrick Lamar curated Black Panther soundtrack, and her voice has been compared to the timeless warblings of her idol, the late Amy Winehouse. Well, last weekend she popped up at the We Love Green Festival here in Paris, and this week she unveils her long-awaited debut album, Lost and Found. It features Let Me Down, her collaboration with UK grime star Stormzy, plus her haunting breakout single, Blue Lights, with its hard-hitting lyrics on police brutality. Run when you hear the sirens coming. Georgia Smith uh, with Blue Lights. Charlie, Georgia Smith is making a name for herself as an artist who's not afraid to tackle uh, social injustice through her music. How important is it for you to get political, especially in this climate? Well, for me, I think just the, the, the freedom to be able to get political is more important than anything, to be honest. You know what I mean? A lot of people aren't equipped to tackle these issues, and some, some of us are, but I think we should all have the outlet to be able to do it. You know what I mean? It's, you know, I, I don't want to put the responsibility on every artist because some people do. I just feel like with me, where I stand, and the things that I hold uh, sacred and dear, if they're threatened or, you know what I'm saying, you know, uh, uh, if there's opposition in any kind of way, I definitely feel the need to speak on it in some form of fashion, whether it's painting or whether it's, you know what I'm saying, Through the music, music. itself. Yeah. Fair enough. Well, next, Beninese powerhouse diva Angelique Kidjo has reimagined the classic album Remain in Life by new wave band Talking Heads. The groundbreaking record, released nearly four decades ago in 1980, still reverberates today. The Grammy Award-winning singer says she wanted to keep its original spirit but bring it back to Africa. The superstar taking the tapestry of Afrobeat-inspired polyrhythms full circle. Well, here's her spin on the track Once in a Lifetime. You may ask yourself, where is the large 
automobile And you may tell yourself This is not my beautiful house And you may tell yourself This is not my beautiful world Letting the days go by Well, that was the uh, fabulous Angelique Kidjo there. I know you're a, a big fan of hers, Charlie. Well, Charlie Tuna is going to close out the show now. Thank you so much for being here. It was an <laughs> absolute pleasure. Uh, remember, he's currently on tour with Crafty Cuts with a joint album set to drop very soon. We'll catch up with past music shows on our website and stay in touch on social media. Stay with us here on France 24. Lots more coming up after this. Take it away, Charlie. Listen, it's like that, the Mike Acrobat on the track, trying to stack for life after rap. All types got my back, despite platinum plaques and them from a part of the map you might have to scrap. If your hat's cock crooked, take a look at the city, your plug thugs with black cops are crooked. Back lots infected with crack rocks and hookers, but that's not the method I chose to get accepted. I chose to twist this gallant artistic talent and maintain a mystic balance. Up for the challenge, the fellow revolving through all peril, y'all terrible, I shine like brother Jamal Barrow do. Yeah, ain't with that bougie crap. I'm dipped in polo like I DJ for Cool G Rap. My name is Charlie from the city where them dudes be strapped. And after I tell you my name, then you'll be back. It's like that. <laughs>